What is up, folks? It is October 24th, 8 a.m., about 56 degrees. I am at uh, the Sterling Hill Disc Golf Course in River Falls, Wisconsin, and I found some video that I had recorded back in June of 2021 before this course was a course. And I thought it was kind of interesting. So I was thinking maybe I'd show it to you. Before that, I'm gonna go up here to hole one. I'm gonna toss a couple discs. Because who doesn't like tossing a couple discs? My name is Andrew, and this is APR Disc Golf Entertainment. It actually looks like some folks were here yesterday playing, and they must have cleaned the pad off for me. Here we go. Just in case dudes are wondering, I actually throw king cobras for my mid-range. And a rock three. That one was rough. Throwing pretty cold. I also do a little bit of an unconventional standstill. Boy, those were kind of shanks, but what do you do? So I had been clearing this, uh, the fairways on this property for almost a year and a half. And I had spread a bunch of annual ryegrass seed just to kind of establish some sort of a root structure before I put in the permanent grass. And look at that. That was my oldest king cobra. I don't know if I want to try to putt that. Well, anyways. So I was about right here. And for some reason, I started recording a video. And I ended up doing like a tour of the whole course for the most part um i thought it would be kind of neat to show that to you i'm not gonna do any music or anything behind it i'm just gonna let you hear the birds chirping the wind blowing and my thoughts about walking around on the property it was kind of neat for me to watch hopefully it's neat for you to watch um other than that i think uh, i think i'm I think I'm gonna try to hit a couple of these closer butts just for fun, quick. Let's see if I can get those. Looks like I get to poke this one between these trees here. skills take a couple years off and build a course and by the time you're done you won't even be able to hit five six foot putts so clearly I'm not the best disc golfer 
Anyways, I was walking around. It was about 2021. It's actually June 11th. I was right out here, and I thought, I'm going to record some of this. I was looking at one of these buckthorn stumps. Maybe it was this one. Could have been those. I can't remember for sure. But I started recording, so check it out. If anyone ever has suggestions on uh, things they want to hear about, the process, the adventures out here, you know, what was hard, what was easy, what was fun, what sucked, leave a comment. I'll try to see if I got other footage or I'll just make new footage, explaining the process a little bit, but it's been an adventure. Here's a little walk around Sterling Hill before it was a disc golf course. It is June 11th, about 8 p.m., no, 8.15, and it's probably about 80 degrees still. It is warm. I just was looking at this. These are buckthorn stumps. You could see them all over. Those are ones I poisoned. This is a perfect example of one I didn't poison. So clearly my poisoning method works. These areas are looking sweet with this grass. This is hole one. I mean, that's what it looked like all the way through. That oh, looks like this. Pretty pumped. Put a basket right there. Put a basket there. Shoot your disc at it. I like these, this looks sweet. This is in between the fairway of one and two. That's just that little path. A nice nice little walk and then oh look at that look at that that's all too looks good it's only like 200 feet up there but it's uphill Ooh. Ooh. look at this Look at this. It's like a little deer just curled up and took a nap, took a nap there. Look right here. Another little spot to take a nap. It's gotta be a deer. I've seen a deer in here. I guess that's what I've seen the most is deer. I haven't seen anything else. This is hole three. It is. This is a good looking one, look at that. That's uh, 300 feet. Maybe a little more. Nah, it's 300 feet, but it's downhill. So easy, but and it's looking good, looking good. This is a uh, whole four. It is sunny and it is buggy. <laughs> this one I just mowed a little the other day and there was poison ivy. There's poison ivy in a lot of places on this hill. This one, there was a bunch and I am very, highly susceptible to poison ivy. Um, so I was like afraid, I was afraid for my life, life and limb, battling the poison ivy, but it's 
right over that, right over that little hill. Put a basket, chuck a disc at it. Look at this, boom. It's like there's already a basket there. Just shoot, shoot it in there. Not playing. This whole five. This one is a wild piece of imagination. I gotta get rid of some of these trees. They're box elders. Gotta get rid of those. And the poison ivy. It is uh, not far, it's like 250 feet. Maybe 240, nah, I think it's 250. Down here. Whew, this area, it was all pines, big tall pines, dead, dead standing pines. I had a couple dudes come out, cut them down real quick for me. So, baskets up there. Dog leg, right, uphill. This hole six, this is hole six. Just shoot up through that way, it's short. 160 feet, two little tight gaps. You can go one side or the other. We're gonna go around the right. And there's this little green down here. You can see the basket, basket right there. Chuck a disc at it. This is like a little corridor from six to seven. A bunch of trees fell down here once and it actually made kind of a neat little path. Let me see. Oh, you turn up the hill. This is hole seven. This is a strange one. I need to clear out just a little bit more up there next winter, but it's got like, there's two, two humps, double hump. You see there? And it's just around the corner. I want to say it's like 240. It's not terribly long. 300 is the max on the majority of the holes. There's one that might be maybe 400 something, but that'll be out in the open. But, you know, put a basket right down there. Chuck a disc at it. This is hole 10. And it had so much baby buckthorn on it that I sprayed it with some herbicide. And I might have went too hard in some spots. It looks a little scorched, but that's fine. It looks like a lot of the grass I killed it was going to die anyway. Uh, would have been nice to get more roots, but it is what it is now. Uh, hopefully all the buckthorn's dead. This here is hole 11. It needs this area up here, maybe 10 feet wider. Um, out to like where this big oak is. There's like a line of oaks. It needs to come inside that. So there will be two lanes, right and left. There is a bunch of ash, a bunch of ash trees. And they're tall and skinny. I am planning on 
using these ash trays, ash trees <laughs> for things. You know, whatever, whatever you can build out of them. Probably use them for stairs, a lot of stairs. We'll see, trails, line and trails. There's a lot, there's a lot. I don't think I'm gonna run out. This one's like 280, two tight lanes. All these tall trees, oh, all the like tall skinny trees will be gone, gone. This is hole 12. Shoot down there. It's up and to the left. Basket's about level where we are, and it's kind of like a valley. I'm gonna get rid of a lot of this. You'll be able to see the basket by the time I've cleared everything I need to clear. But it's looking good. And who knows, maybe I'll just leave it like this. It's pretty cool. This area I tested. Some herbicide, De definitely scorch the earth. Eesh. This hole has some big oaks on it. And it has, I think the coolest oak on the property that I've found so far is that one. It's looking good. This one looks A lot of them are in rough shape, but this one, it's a good looking one. It is a good looking one. I'm gonna go to the other side. There is a lot of buckthorn on this. Oh, look at that. That whole side. That's a basket. Basket. Put a basket up there. Chuck a disc at it. It's got that branch you got to shoot under. This is a super cool feature, I think. And this whole, this area definitely forces you down. It'll be, it'll be interesting to see how folks play it. This is hole 13, hole 13. Tunnel. Little short tunnel. And a lot of bucks on. Comes down here. I think this one's, uh, 200, 240. Let's see what opens up. This side. Might be able to see the flags in there. Yeah, you can see a flag right there. That's how wide it's gotta be. It's the T. Huge pile. Huge piles of buck on. But a lot of little, a lot of little buck on growing too. There's the green right in there. Right in there. This one's good. Right here, we got hole 14. It is downhill and around to the right, down there. Uh, this one's just under 300, maybe two, 290, 280. Got to clear some of these trees out. Came from up there. Big old log. 
shooting over here. Just right up there, right behind that. Big old, big old tree, and there's a few of them. <laughs> This grass is looking great. Uh, I'm a little surprised. Ooh, there was a deer up there. Oh, well, right here. Right up in there. That's where you put a basket. Chuck a disc at it. This is 15. This is definitely the hole I'm least proud of. It's supposed to be narrow. It's supposed to be short. It's just like a chip shot around this corner. And then it's steep. It is very steep. You can see right there. That's the basket. Chuck a disc at it. This is from the bottom of 15. This needs to get wind out. This green area is supposed to be twice as wide. Twice as wide. All that. It's all gotta go. It's all gotta go. But that won't take long at all. It's like a day. That's like a day of cutting. Not even lying. Four hours. Gone. We got hole 16. It's pretty flat. Tunnel. This is as wide as it's gonna be. It's I believe 280 feet. And you got some large oaks. Probably get rid of these guys, box elder. Good amount of weeds and buckthorn. Get rid of that. I saw a little more poison ivy. I've seen it on every hole. Every hole, I swear. So from back there baskets up there just like a slow turn to the left folks will like it right there put a basket chuck a disc at it this is hole 17 basket just right up there Nothing too big. This is the shortest hole on the course. It's 160 feet. It's uphill. There's some field going. A couple of these trees are going to go away, but it's still going to be a little gap. A little gap. Hopefully get some aces here. Aces. I did a little herbicide test here on all this it's geranium. So this, I didn't poison, and this, I did. Poison, not poison. And the grass is good down there. I think it's these head. Big enough leaves to stop it from hitting the grass so much. And the grass might have been strong. Who knows? Here's uh, the only, the only path I've dug. Probably going to erode out, but I wanted to see the time it would take. 
That was about an hour, 50 feet, 50 foot of path, one hour. That's what I used. And it was hot, it was 80 degrees. That's nice, nice trail. This right here is hole 18. It is downhill. I think it's maybe 210 feet, maybe 230, I can't remember. It's not far, it's fun. It's another one you probably get ace on. I like it. There we are. Shoot from up there. It's right down in this area. It's a little bit, a little bit uh, to the right. Put a basket right there. Put a basket there. Chuck a disc at it. This road right here is just, it's an emergency access road. It's an old road. It's called Old Jersey Road. No lie. That's the name. Parking lot. Parking lot. It is. Man, I can't remember. 400 feet? 600 feet? I don't know. Clearly, I'm terrible with distances, but it's long. It's long. It's a road. Parking lot. And there you have it. Here we are. Parking lot. Back in 2023. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Might have been a little boring. Maybe a little long. Some of you probably loved it. Some of you hated it. Anyways. If you made it this far. Like. Subscribe. Leave a comment. Tell me what you want to hear. Tell me what you want to see. I'm Andrew. This is APR. Disc Golf Entertainment.